All right, so the next thing we need to do is we need to start to set up our content structure a little bit and specifically we need to get our we need to set up our categories because we're going to need that in order to be able to do some of this next stuff that we want to do for our class here. So what we're going to do for this is under Rourke, we'll create a new folder and we'll call this content. And again, this is just the structure that I happen to choose. You can of course structure this however you want. And you'll see that as we get into this, that you could reference these files wherever they happen to be. It's a, that, that part of it's not really that big of a deal. But we'll start off and we're going to have a folder, a new folder called uh, page under content. So that's where we'll put all our pages. We'll have a new folder called post. That's where we'll put all our posts. And then we're going to have a new file called categories. And categories are going to be a little different since they're going to be in there. It's you're going to specify them all in this one file. We just have a, a file and then for posts, because you would have multiple posts uh, that would need sort of their own their own file, you have a folder for those. But under categories, then we're going to we need to sort of just create some some categories here. Now, I'm going to this system uses JSON, so I'm going to just drop this in. Um, and show this to you. This is just sort of standard JSON. It's a JSON object. We have two categories, one named uh, demo. You can see the information about it, name, slug, the posts that are in it, uh, and then the content, which in this case is a co category description and the markdown will be supporting that. Another one called test here. But this is just sort of a standard JSON object here. If you wanted to add uh, a new category here, you would simply add a comma here and then you just copy and paste what was above and then you just come in here and change all of this stuff here okay the big thing here is this list of posts now the reason we we do it this way is because you could specify the category in the posts but when you visit a category page to list all of the posts for that category you'd actually have to go through every single post and check to see if it belonged in that particular category that would be very uh, start, especially if you had a lot of posts, that would not work out well performance wise. So instead we create a file over here and it's sort of like you create a post and then in a lot of times in software you'll go and you'll check a box or something like that to put it in the category. Here you just come over to the categories file and you put it, you, you add it to this uh, this element right here in order to put it in that particular category. Again, we're doing everything without a database, so some stuff is a little bit more cumbersome, but it's just sort of the way it goes. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this one. Uh, we don't really need it for right now. And so we, now we've got our categories uh, over here, but this is a JSON object. So we need to, you know, we need to be able to, to deal with this a little bit. Uh, we need to put it into where PHP can actually read it and so forth. And so we're going to go back over to lib and we are going to create the first of our functions files. So we're going to create one called category.php. Now you see as we go through this, these are not going to be classes. These are going to be just straight up uh, functions and functions files. But we're going to ultimately end up with you know one called post, one called RSS one called image for handling those different parts of the templates. Now, we, we don't haven't talked about templates yet, but essentially what we're putting in these function files are template tags that you can then use inside of the templates that we're going to create to do different things like display the title or an image or the categories or so forth. But we can also use it inside of our Rourke here as well. So we're going to We'll go ahead and open this category.php and we'll talk about that uh, in a second. But before we do that, we need to make sure that we go back over to index.php and now we have a new file here. And so we're just going to do require once and we're going to go lib and then category.php. Now, you could do auto load and all that stuff. And if you know all that, that's fine. But 
I really like to to be able to see explicitly what was what's loaded in what order, and also just sort of for doing courses and tutorials. Uh, doing the auto load can be really, really confusing if, if you haven't learned that yet. And I don't want that to be something that bogs us down. So I'm just loading everything sort of explicitly here, but we just created that file. Now we've got it loaded here, uh, into index.php. And so now we can sort of use it and we can actually use it inside of our Rourke class, which we're going to do. Uh, so with that said, then we can come over here to category we can actually write this function and so we're gonna this is going to be a function called get categories and now we also with this we need to come and we need to create our config file so because we need to specify our absolute path so we're gonna do config dot php we need a, a constant here and let me just uh, open this up real quick. All right, so we're going to go to config.php and inside here, of course, open our PHP. These are going to be app constants. We'll also have one that is going to be app options, which is a little bit different, but we're going to do define and we're going to do a constant called abs path and we're going to do dir name file actually we could probably just do I haven't actually tried this yet but uh, this dir is a little bit one that's a little bit newer but we're just going to do dir like this okay so what that's going to do is it's going to give us the path to the directory that config is in the absolute path to directory that config is in well that's our slash dot rourke so that's our absolute path that's what this constant is so this is sort of a a starting point that we can use as we uh, for uh, when we need pathing throughout the rest of the, of the application instead of having to constantly uh, figure it out, we can just use abs path as a constant now, and we will have the root here in Rourke. Okay, so again, because we've just this is sort of a new thing that we just added, we need to come back over to our index.php, and we are going to require again. and uh, dir dot config dot php okay so that's going to get us our config file in here and now with that said we can come over to category and write this function so the we first we need the category file that we created here so this categories file we created in content here so we're going to do file equals and we're going to do file get contents and the the file that we want to get or the path we want to get is abs path and then it's going to be dot content and categories okay so that's again abs path gives us rourke and then we get content and then categories that's going to that's going to be the path to the file and then for categories, we're just going to do, and actually, I'll just do it like this, return JSON decode uh, file. True, like this. Okay, so what that's going to do is it's going to grab this categories file here, and this is JSON, it's going to decode that json and it's going to return that and we can come over here to rourke and now we can create a uh, uh we can create our constant we need up here called this categories and we're going to need this for uh in several places throughout this so we'll set that equal to get categories and then let's just do print r on this categories all right so if everything worked out which probably didn't but and actually it did so we get we get an array a php array of our categories so demo name demo slug 
and then test and then test slug etc so we have our categories now over here stored as this this categories property and we can use those and we're going to need those throughout several places including the next thing that we're going to cover which is when we get into setting up our template hopefully you're enjoying the course up to this point now if you'd like to keep going and finish it off all my courses are available on skillshare and not only will you get access to all of my courses but over 20,000 others on web design and web development, freelancing, graphic design, online marketing, and more. And it's all for just 10 bucks a month. And as a teacher on Skillshare, I can give you a two month free trial. You'll get full access to the entire library of courses and you can cancel at any time before the trial is up and you'll never be charged a penny. To learn more and to start your two month free trial, Head on over to johnmorrisonline.com slash Skillshare.